word I always think about when I think of you is you are always encouraging of everyone. You are always bringing people into the fold and, and encouraging them to, to take on leadership positions. And you- Before we get started with the show, here's a quick word from our sponsor, Global Training Center. As trade compliance professionals, you want to make sure that your procedures and documentation are completed as correctly as possible to avoid any delays and possible fines. We provide a range of trade compliance courses that will fit your needs. From in-person or web training to recorded on-demand courses, we can train one or even thousands on your team through your learning platform or on our portal. We can even customize a private session for your team. Go to globaltrainingcenter.com to find out more. You wound up probably working in every aspect of it. You're probably doing every job that in the company, right? From a forklift operator to a dispatcher at the bridge to everything in between, all of that. I mean, it just... You know, logistics manager, freight forwarder, broker, everything down the line from the start to the end. I, I've done it in our in our business. When you were doing that, did you uh, were, were there some folks that I mean, I guess it was probably your dad. But I mean, uh, along the lines, were you some key folks that were really influential for you and in, in, as you were learning? Well, yeah, all the way down the line. So when I first started, I. I worked under um, a dispatcher that was with my dad's operation for 25 years, and he kind of showed me the ins and outs of the entry preparation, receiving, processing loads at the bridge. And, I mean, the guy was never going to be a broker, but he knew everything about being a broker. Wow. Oh, that's phenomenal. Well, Yeah, and then, you know, my my dad was a Mexican broker, right? Yeah, I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you that because – Andy and I had a little back and forth and I was, I told Andy, I think someone in his family was a Mexican broker. So, so that was your dad. I, I, your grandpa. No, no. Yeah. Oh, that, that was my, gra- my grandfather. That's so what I told both sides Andy. Of the border. Yeah. yeah. We had both, both sides of the border. The funny, the funny thing is though, even today I do very little business with my family on the Mexican side. Really? It's, it's, yeah, well, it's not good to be in business with family because then if there's an argument, you can't give them your full <laughs> blown, you know, I'm really upset with you guys. Yeah, no, I, I get it. So who who would be, when you started coming in, what got you to where you were, I guess, trying to mentor somebody else? I mean, that, that'd be the other thing is that because you've, you've touched a lot of lives, Kiko, over the years. Yeah. Well, you know what happens in this industry, and I think if you talk to most brokers, they're going to give you the similar story. Uh, you get into it and you get bit. I mean, you get bit by international trade. It's a fascinating industry. You don't realize it till you're in the weeds and doing it day to day. And it also provided a quite a, quite a well established, a stable, uh, income for raising a family. So, when I got into leadership in the NCBFAA back in 94, 95, something like that, um, I just felt like I, I needed to give back to an industry that gave me so much. And so anything I can do to promote, to promote, uh, this industry to other people and show them what it's done and what it could do, uh, was definitely a calling for me. I love it. Hey, Lalo, did you say you needed to do a test on something? Yeah, here? I needed to test. Um, I don't know. I'm going to test somebody's um, audio here that's trying to get in on this. So hold on. Okay, Kiko. Um, well, I'm I'm very careful about what stories I want to tell about Kiko, even though he's the one who brought me up into the uh, to the treasurer and dragged me through the <laughs> vice president. And uh, I, I, I traveled around the world with Kiko in Argentina and to Turkey and to a variety of other places. And I'm very careful about what stories I tell because I was there at the time. And so I can't really tell many of the stories, a few San Diego stories, a couple stories uh, in Texas. And uh, what goes on at the ranch stays at the ranch, right, Kiko? A hundred percent. Who's that, Kiko? Can you hear him? <laughs> oh, I can hear him. Yeah, I can hear yeah. Jeff. Yes, very clear. Right. Jeff Thomas right. Smith. Well, I, I, uh, I have to, and I said it during your, your uh, Centurion Award, the, what you've done with the education associ- uh, uh, group has uh, just been outstanding. I mean, that's what you're talking about. Texas A&M has their own program going on and, and how many thousands of students are going to benefit from what you've done, Kiko. <clears throat> it's an outstanding job. And I, I'm glad to be part of this, uh, 
this roast, as you say, but I'm not going to tell the good stories about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, please right, keep right. those, let's keep those to a, a minimum <laughs> so 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 kiko we have a little bit of a confession to make um we're not here to talk about the uh broker continuing education so we're actually here um we brought in a we bunch of your friends you yeah we set you up oh, buddy <laughs> so, so you know you remember that show this is your life this is your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so this, that's what we're doing here for you today, Kiko. So, so oh, we brought well, in a you. bunch of your, let's see, let's see how many of these people you can recognize. Okay. <laughs> hey, Kiko. When I started with the NCBFAA, I had experience with the importer, exporter, our client side, but not so much with the nuances of the brokerage and logistics and forwarding industry. And I would go so far as to say you are not just a bridge, but really my lifeline to helping understand and for me to really be able to effectively advocate for the needs of our members. And I feel very privileged to get to work with you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. You know, one of the things that, that uh, you know, we had that Centurion Award during the annual conference and I had a lot of my friends get up and speak, and I loved everything that they said. But my daughters caught me off guard, and they told me they were pregnant at the end of their speech. So I forgot what everybody said. <laughs> <laughs> and rightly so. <laughs> Thank you, Megan. Then um, let me see. Let me see if I can get this one going here. Um Okay, C, go ahead, CW. Well, at my first NCBFA annual conference, as what I call a trade civilian, I needed someone to help guide me through my rehabilitation process into the <laughs> private sector community since I had been institutionalized for over 32 years. And Kiko was very instrumental and eager to take on that task of ushering me through how to behave at the NCBFA annual conference. And I got to know him a little bit better. And um, as, as we shared, and actually along with Jeff Carpersmith over um, a glass of wine, I got to know him a little bit better. And who knew that Kiko was an avid runner? As a matter of fact, he was a marathon, he ran many marathons. That's right. And That's right. I shared the heartiest laugh that I, I ever experienced post COVID when I shared with Kiko and Jeff how I had read in the runner's magazine. I would read about running all the time because I'm nowhere near the level of Kiko in terms of running. But I read that marathon runners often lose control over their bodily functions. Okay, okay. <laughs> so speaking to Kiko, the avid, you know, marathon runner, I wanted to validate this with Kiko and Jeff and say, is, is, was this true? Is this true? Have you ever experienced that? And they thought that was the most hilarious thing they had ever heard. And all through, all through the remainder of the conference, when I encountered them, they would uh, demonstrate what it looked like if they were to have experienced that loss of <laughs> and So that's my Kiko. That was an amazing evening, by the way. I shared that that was one of the hardest laughs I've had in forever. Oh my God. And it went on for so hours. It wasn't just laughing. one moment. Yes. But what it's like, what it's like to poop your pants during a marathon. Thank you, Kiko. Thank you for, um, again, your leadership and your vision. And you are quite, quite the businessman. And I have much to learn um, about that, being an entrepreneur. And I appreciate that. Well, there's still a lot more to go, Cynthia, and you're doing an amazing job. So you keep up the good work as well. And uh, we have someone with the initials PFL. Um, you want to go ahead? Uh, well, Kiko, uh, whether it's mezcal and mole in Mexico City <laughs> or reposado and ribs in Rondado, uh, there's uh, there are lots of great memories. Um, 
there's been our times at the Miami Heat, the Florida Panthers, the LA Lakers, the LA Kings, the Phoenix Suns, and it's all part of business, right? It's all part it of is. the fun, right? That's, where, like I that's say, where the real work happens. That's where it happens, right? And I say, well, who needs Don Julio <laughs> when you have Don Kiko? Because that's, that's really where the rubber meets the road. And I will say when it comes to controlling bodily fluids and the like uh tequila does create its challenges as well as cynthia and others right now but we've been there for each other through thick and thin um and i'm glad you are part of the sec now because i am an sec guy i come from the sec family so that just makes it more fun but um on a serious note, you know, we've had our, our statements, our slogans, get her done when it came to continuing ed, lead or get out of the way. We now have NACPA, which is uh, definitely a whole nother interesting experience. But you took me by the arm when I first got to NCBFA as a, a young tyke in the profession. And you said, you will do GTEC. You will present to this association. You're going to get involved. So I don't know if I'm ready for that, Don Kiko, but a few uh, tequila, a few tequilas. And I said, I think I'm going to do just fine here. I think this guy is a great mentor. He's someone who's going to take me places. He's going to take the association places. And I can't thank you enough again for having such a profound influence on me, for helping me to ascend in so many ways through this association, gaining the trust of you and so many esteemed colleagues. It's always about educating each other, but man, we have a damn good time along the way, and I wouldn't change that for a second, my friend. 100%, man. Got to have a good time. We have... Someone by the initials LJ. Yes, I once <laughs> shared a ride with Kiko <laughs> out to Westcon from the Ontario airport to Palm Springs. And I, p- I pull up to pick Kiko up and I'd rented a convertible. And Kiko says, as he's getting in, I have a call I have to take. And I'm like, well, <laughs> damn, I'll, I got a convertible. And he's like, oh, no, no, leave the top down. I'll take the call in the convertible and we head out the interstate towards the desert and Kiko's on his call with CBP over some NEI continuing education issue, how he heard anything. I don't know, but I I kept saying, do you want me to pull over and put the top up? This sounds pretty important. He's like, no, 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 this is great. I'm enjoying this. This is fantastic. And uh, we were riding by trucks and everything else. But, uh, but it just shows that Kiko, he's going to get the work done, but he is not going to stop having a good time doing it. And we, and, and we, we had a, we had a great trip then and, and a later trip out to Westcon. We, um, I think I met up with Kiko and maybe JD, but I came into the airport together. I may have gone to another conference and we met up at the airport and they let me catch a ride with them in the Uber. And I'm like, oh, this is, you guys are so nice. It's like, when we get to the hotel, I'm going to buy you a drink at the bar. And we go there and we drop our bags in the room and we go to the bar. And I was like, Kiko, what do you want? And he gives me an order for tequila. I can't even remember what it was, but it was the glass must be chilled and there must be this and there must be that. And I'm like, oh, okay. I know, I know you like tequila. So I go up to the bar and I order the drink and they go, Oh, that's very nice. Yes, absolutely. Like that'll be $60. I'm like, wait a minute. How much was the Uber ride? <laughs> um, but no, but Kiko just want to, just want to, you know, absolutely, you know, thank you. You, you are always, the word I always think about when I think of you is you are always encouraging of everyone. You are always bringing people into the fold and, and encouraging them to, to take on leadership positions. And you've done that for me many times. And for many people, I see you. And I think, I think it's fantastic for the younger people in the association to really get that encouragement and to see you as a mentor. And it, it's rare. I can say this, but I'm actually one of the youngest. I might be the youngest person on the call if Megan's gone. So, um, <laughs> so it's just rare for me to be able to say this. But, uh, but no, but I just always appreciate the work that you do and the encouragement that you give to people and kind of, and I know you've helped me personally just say, when I say, I don't know if I'm really 
if I should do that, I qualify to do it. And you always say, no, nah, they let me do it. You can do it, you know? Um, and, and the other thing I really appreciate you that you touched on earlier is that you've, you've worked in a business. You've worked in the family business from the forklift on up. And I think a lot of us have done that. And you really appreciate the work, the workers and the responsibility um, of running a business and the responsibility you have to your employees and their families. And that's something that's really, really struck home with me. And I know everybody here, my family and everything else. And we just really appreciate your friendship. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Len. And, and your family means uh, the world to me as well. And, and you have a lot of uh, big things coming in your future with the NCBFA. So keep, keep the, the work coming and, and the leadership coming. And, and we're going to all benefit from that. Well, thank you, nice. sir. Nice. Thank it. you so much, Len. Um, next, we have an awkward um, uh, initials GD. Carpet, tequila, moment, Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how everyone's mentioning tequila. Oh, my God. I mean, oh, no. oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's a recent moment. I tell you what, we were in Mexico just last week, and there was a carpet that just happened to get in the way, and Kiko started just saving, saving the tequila. So he did have tequila on the ground, but <laughs> it's a common theme, you know. Listen to Len's story right now, you know, about, you know, it's it's like a James Bond moment. Kiko always goes in there, no, no, the tequila has to be prepared chilled this way with a wedge of lime or something, you know. So it's a unique drink, you know. So, and it's not just the plain tequila. It's just it's a challenge. So, But uh, <laughs> it's always a moment. It's always have, you know, entertaining times and it's just it's always fun but at the same time you know just the common thing that everybody seems to have here on the call is you know Kiko's been a mentor to everybody you know he's a and I remember when I first started as president locally here in Laredo you know I'd always lean on Kiko and that's when he was president nationally hey how can I make things better how can I and he always had just the right touch the right person and just the right guidance for everybody and even now to this day as current president you know I always lean on Kiko hey Kiko What's your thoughts? We bounce thought ideas, you know, and, and he manages to guide me in the right direction. And I, and I think it's evident by the direction that we're going that, you know, a lot of it, there's a lot of Kiko influence, but, you know, and a lot of uh, flavor. But at the same time, you know, I think it's all beneficial for the entire community, the brokerage community. So, uh, Kiko, I thank you a lot. I look at you like a big brother and a mentor. And at the same time, I'm just listening to all the stories that everybody said, you know, you just really just a lot of life, man. And, and you know what? And I'm not even talking about the ranch and the goat, man. So stay away from that. You can't. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything, brother. <laughs> Yeah, you bet, JD. And again, as I've told other people, you're doing an amazing job as as president. Keep up the good work, and uh, uh, you're you're expanding it beyond our borders, and and that's all good, man. I love it. Thanks, man. Nice. Thank you so much, JD. Thanks for coming on. With all these people that you've uh, you've you've had and that you saw, and you've been, uh, I guess, surprised by, like, um, w w what is it that you feel that? might you know like I, i don't know i see you as a mentor too i mean because you helped me i remember when i first went to my first ncbfaa and you saw me over there in the corner kind of almost by myself he's like hey you're a first timer aren't you and then you made me put that first timer tag on <laughs> we had to give you the brand man the brand yeah yeah, yeah. and and then yeah. and the first thing you did i don't know if you remember but you 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 made you you you, you took me to the hospitality area or whatever i said hey let's have a drink <laughs> So I guess yeah, that's why again, everybody's in <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah, No, they didn't be. have tequila. Yeah, I don't think they had tequila at that one. It was in Tucson. Oh. It was uh, uh, first timers in Tucson. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they wouldn't. They wouldn't have it there. But we would have gotten it later for sure. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you will forgive us for uh, surprising you here. I hope this has uh, no. been a good surprise. It's, uh, it's been great. It's been great. You know, one of, one of the things I want to say before we finish everything is everybody that spoke today uh, has enriched me as well. I mean, they all talk about me being a mentor and this and that and the other. And I do like to have a good time. I do like my tequila. But every person that spoke today has been a mentor to me as well and showing me things that I probably would not have done before. And it's helped me to grow. So I, I always want to thank everybody that I've worked with because you, you learn something from each person that you interact with. There's something unique, different, 
and it may not be your style, but it may be something that you want to adopt down the way. And uh, a lot of people on this call uh, have done that for me as well. Uh, Jeff, uh, very, very special to me. He's the one that actually offered me the position to come back into the NCBFA as the NEI director and uh, move that forward, my vision forward. And, you know, thanks to him that I had that opportunity and I'll never forget that. Uh, but you know, everybody, everybody had something, a role in, in my uh, career. And I appreciate them all as uh, coworkers, as competitors, but especially as friends. Well, obviously, uh, for the whole thing here to our listeners, I'm going to just say right now is that we have a, a tribute show here to Kiko Zeneca. Kiko, uh, again, we, we salute you. you. You've been, you know, obviously you're in our hearts. Thank you for what you've done in the industry. But you know what? You are just a fine fine man and you have just encouraged people you've inspired them you've got a vision you've helped people along the way and it's just a way of all these people getting together just to say thank you to you for who you are and what you mean to all of us in the industry so thank you sir but lalo if i could take just a, a disclaimer because kiko has a lot of friends so this is going to go public you just we try to get more people involved, but this it was a limit. So I mean, people, I mean, people, people gonna there probably might be some offended individuals, but please don't be offended. We there was very limited that we could get to on this. Yeah, this was this was awesome, Lalo, and and I'm sure when we're at the ranch next year, Jeff <laughs> and Jeff and Steve and all these other people, we'll have a drink and toast all of this. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I need cool. to call you. And it's it, uh, we talked about it. I need to, to uh, time it out to come down and uh, visit the ranch there. <laughs> there you do. Thank you very much for joining us. Simply Trade is brought to you by the generous contributions of Global Training Center. You can follow the show and GTC on LinkedIn or Twitter and other social networks. Make sure you check out the show notes in the description for a full rundown of today's show with all the important links. Also, make sure that you share this with a friend and subscribe on your favorite streaming platform. We really like hearing from you. If you enjoyed the show, make sure to rate and review wherever you listen to this podcast. If you or someone you know would like to be a guest on the show or would like to sponsor Simply Trade or suggest any topic you would like for us to discuss, please contact us via email at simplytrade at globaltrainingcenter.com or you can DM us on Twitter at simplytradepod. Thank you again for the privilege of your time. Happy trading. Simply Trade is not a law firm or an advisor. The topics and discussions conducted by Simply Trade hosts and guests should not be considered and is not intended to substitute legal advice. You should seek appropriate counsel for your own situation. These conversations and information are directed towards listeners in the United States for informational, educational, and entertainment purposes only and should not be substituted for legal advice. No listener or viewer of this podcast should act or refrain from acting on the basis of information on this podcast without first seeking legal advice from counsel. Information on this podcast may not be up to date depending on the time of publishing and the time of viewership. The content of this posting is provided as is. No representations are made that the content is error free. The views expressed in or through this podcast are those of the individual speakers, not those of their respective employers or Global Training Center as a whole. All liability with respect to actions taken or not taken based on the contents of this podcast are hereby expressly disclaimed.